And you feel alone And you worried if you got it right or wrong He is with you when you've given up On ever finding your true love Someone who feels like home He is with you When nothing else is left Shannon Blanket Chip with the Little Muncie House of Prayer. Once again, coming to you for the next five minutes, bringing you God's Word. If you have a Bible, I hope I'm saying the correct thing, Jeremiah, it's J E R E M I A H, No Testament, chapter 1. And I will read from 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I put my words in thy mouth. In other words, the Lord touched this person's particular lips and put his word in your mouth. Well, I want to spiritually bring this up to you preachers or ministers or anyone that Brings the gospel out there. See, when you preach, you preach by the Holy Ghost. In other words, when you first pray, you pray that the Lord touches your lips, that his words come out, not my words or your words. You see what I'm saying? It is his words. Because God is all-powerful. His words will never fail. 
His words are stronger than any words there ever was. You know, I can give you my opinion about what's going on in life and, and preach on the world corruption or the world politics or, you know, if you batter someone's name or if you talk about this church or that church. See, that's not of God, first place. The Word of God is of God. If you keep it by Scripture only and keep the Word itself and relate it by the Word, now that's not wrong, you know, talking about certain things, leave people's name out. Don't bring people's names in. It's not about them. It's all about the glory of God. You can tell a story long you relate it back to the Bible, but you don't, you don't do it by tearing someone down when you do it. You do it to edify, edify the church, edify your brother man or your brother sister or your brother in Christ, your sister in Christ. You see what I'm saying? You don't do it to tear or rip down. You do it to uplift the name of Jesus. This whole word is about him. So when you pray, when you preach, Allow God to take over. Allow the Holy Ghost to be the one that shows you what to preach on or what to show, what to say. If you just come in front, in front of a bunch of people and give them a testify, you know, you don't get up here to correct someone as far as how they live. The Word does that. You don't have to do that. If you preach the Word of God, the Word will correct the person. Not you. You don't have to do it. That's not of God. That's not God's preaching. God's preaching is the holy words. So when you pray that he takes over, it's all of him. It's all about him. Not about us. Not about what kind of minister you are or what kind of minister that you want to be. It's all about Jesus. You know, I'm nobody, but I'm somebody through Jesus. And so are you. You're nobody unless you're through Jesus. Then you're somebody in Christ. Then we all are somebody in Christ. You know, we all got the same heavenly father, okay? We all in this together, you know. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, we got different mothers, but the same Heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? So what the point I'm trying to get to you is this. When you pray, check these words out yourself and think about it. When you pray, let God take over and preach, not you. Because if you do, you have failed. And you will hurt someone. True, the word sometimes cut like a sword. It says it. Sometimes people get their foot out and get stepped on. But you know what? Let the word do it. Let God do it. That's not your job. You know, your job is to bring forth the word of God. We all are supposed to bring forth the word of God. So why don't we let God be God and let him show everyone what to say and what to do. And let God lead the service. You know, because if he ain't leading the service, you know, we just wasted your time. I can see once again my time's up. I invite you to come out here to Little Muncie House of Prayer on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. And uh, if you don't come here, go somewhere because it's all about God, like I said. And I like to see everyone in, 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 that's watching in church somewhere and say, Well, may God be with you until the next appointed time. God bless. You have a nice day.